the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah. All right, so so back to what I'm saying. Uh, and, you know, I added a little, little piece out if I can. <laughs> Amen. But back to what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I was looking at the things like the six things that God hates. And, and one of the points is this. People use the tools of the enemy. Discord, lying, murder, and, 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 and false witness, and discord, and, and all those things. It's, it's, it's what the, the world uses, right? The world loves to divide and, <laughs> and conquer and keep people fighting against each other. We, we, we're great at that, you know? Uh, we know how to pull things apart from one another. There, there was even divisions, even in, back in the Book of Acts, how the Pharisees and, 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 and the Sadducees and, uh, was dealing with the, the body of Christ as the new church was forming, how division occurred even they 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 pitted against each other one you know one group said that they they the pharisees believed that there is an afterlife the sadducees didn't believe there was an afterlife you know uh and and, and they they went after the church but they went after with the division and <laughs> and that's because that's how life is right well god is saying is his kingdom his kingdom is 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 a united kingdom and he's bringing us together in the world in his kingdom he's calling us to be part of his kingdom you know when jesus you know one of brother uh, clearly points out and even charles monroe was saying is it is the kingdom is what jesus preached he was preaching to tell us to come into his kingdom and see, that's the truth, isn't it? The truth is his kingdom. Thy will be done, huh? On earth as it is. Remember the Lord's Prayer. You know, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. And see, what we've been seeing, when we see division and everything else, is all because when, when you operate outside of his will, are you catching what I'm saying? See, his will is not for division. His will is for unity. And, and yes, we recognize this weekend as Martin Luther King's birthday, his call for nonviolence, his dream that we call the famous, one of the famous dreams that, that was really ordained by God was the fact is that us coming together as one, you know, the fact is, whether we will, well, uh, black man, white man, brown, Jews, Gentile, all one, hey, all one, holding hands together, saying free at last, free at last, thank God almighty, free at last. Why? Why was that resonating even up to this day? Because it is a unity it is a oneness of god that's what he wants all of us to be one in christ jesus one because that's where we are the best when we're one even this country itself is called the united states of america because it means united as one one nation under god indivisible with liberty listen to this with liberty and justice for all and see regardless of the division regardless of the history of the past that concept of one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all it says for all see that's when you find out where you call your divisions come from is when people want to 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 exclude all you know what i mean that's where we have strife that's what we have division that's what we have under the six days of god hate discord because 
it, unity is our best line of defense against division, against hate, against bigotry, against uh, black on black crimes or white on white crimes or, or people on people's crimes. You know, it's, it's God is sitting there saying this, look at me, seek me first, the kingdom. We as a body of believers must come into and stay in and dwell in his kingdom. We in this world, but we're not of this world. This world is all about trusting and believing in him. So God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing, good brother? Good morning, sir. Doing fantastic. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Oh, my God. <laughs> can you hear me? That's working. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I hear you. Yeah, good morning. I'm doing fantastic, sir. How are you doing? Hey, sir, I'm doing great. God gave me a good revelation. I wanted to share. <laughs> I was checking my mic. Uh, the fact is, the, the, it's, it's, I, I was talking about the kingdom of God. And, and I'm talking about, well, that's, that's, the, that's the central theme throughout the whole ministry throughout life, right? It's the kingdom of God. And, and what, I, what I was talking about is the fact is that how to deal with confusion and to deal with division and deal with discord, those things that, that the world does, and yet it's those things that God hates. I was sitting there saying that God was saying is, preach the truth of who we are. All of us are who we are in Christ Jesus, in the kingdom of God. See, we're in this world, but we're not of this world. And therefore, we strive is not talking about who we are in Christ Jesus, who we are in the kingdom. See, in the kingdom, <laughs> there's a unity. And I was talking about the fact is that God wants us to be one accord, be one accord in what? Not our own opinions, but in his word, right? His will. So that's what I'm rambling about it. You're welcome to, to, to jump in anytime you want, if you want to, but I, 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 got, a, I got a frame of thought going, I'm gonna just go ahead and push it through. But the fact is that how we deal with and combat the world system of division and discord is to go and stay with the truth. Preach the truth. He says the truth what makes us free. And if we just go by that and trust in that, preach that, we'll, we'll knock down the walls of division. We'll walk, we'll, we'll knock down the walls of discord. We'll walk, we'll knock down those things that, that, that continue to easily beset us, the sin that easily beset us, the, the division and the hate, just by trusting in the truth, preaching the kingdom. Because, you know, the past, you know, I, 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 I do recognize what Brother Adam was saying is, if we go by the, the, when we talk about the past, and even today, <laughs> when you talk about it in politics and so forth, it, it, it becomes painful. And it, it, it interferes with what the true message of the gospel is about, right? The gospel is about the kingdom of God. And I'm talking about the reason I'm talking about the fact that saying it is the kingdom of God, because in his kingdom, there's unity. In the kingdom, there's trust. In the kingdom, there, there's oneness, which is what he's always talking about. So preaching the truth throughout the gospel, throughout the ministry, is what will defeat any of the discourse, any of the pain from the past, <laughs> any of the, the, the history uh, of, of of this system and say, look, despite all this, the truth will still make us free. So with that in mind, I was talking about the title. Let me show you what I had here. With that in mind, I'm talking about the fact is that one of the truth that always should be put down is we are a living stone, a holy people. 
whether we're black or brown or, 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 or white, we are living holy people in the eyes of God by accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. It doesn't matter what somebody sit there and say, well, you're a black man. It doesn't matter what somebody say, you're a white man. It doesn't matter what somebody sit there and say, you're a brown man, or you're a Hispanic, or you're a Jew, or you're a Greek. It doesn't matter because what matters is of who we are in Christ Jesus. We are a holy people. A, a, we are living stones, meaning solid, solid standing on a rock. Our foundation, regardless of where the wind and the rain come, if we won't have a great fall because we're standing on a rock. We are the living part of the rock. You know what I mean? So, so that's where that's my theme I'm going through, and and, and I, I want to try to push through it. And uh, but that's what he's telling me. Stay on the message of truth stay what's what did jesus preach about child you know uh, brother monroe was uh was saying it is the kingdom of god what about the kingdom of god see i think that's another piece and i like that that uh the message that you you loved a long time ago and you still probably have it with you is don't forget the benefits of being in the kingdom you know what i mean well my thing has always been to speak the word only, period. And uh, and speak the word only because I think that we have an obligation to teach the Bible, uh -huh. its principles and its precepts. I think it's a disgrace anytime we use platforms of the ministry to get into political positions or to push the agenda of the government one side or the other that's uh -huh. not our job i think we need to teach the word because the truth is the only thing that's going to prevail it's yeah. going to be the only thing that that because we can we can feel like something is true and have a great position on it that don't necessarily mean it's truth because of, because because the masses go with it remember they said free barabbas crucify him not because they beloved loved barabbas even though that's what everybody was saying yeah it's because they hate it's because they hated the truth yeah and that decision was not the right decision so i think we have an obligation to preach the word only we should be teaching the bible because it's so much of it that people don't know and understand and and live by that we don't have time let the news media and the politicians and other forums deal with coronavirus or Democrats or Republicans or Biden or, or Trump or that's that's in the ministry in my opinion it has no place that's right. just my opinion no, because there's so the much world. there's so much of the 66 books that we don't understand yeah. that we need to be adhering to and living by and propagating that that needs to be our concentration period and then understanding the truth will give us an, an opportunity. All those other things will show themselves where they belong because yeah. you need to know the truth in order to, uh, uh, to, 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 to intellectually and appropriately position those things where they need to be. Because if you don't know the truth, then anything that somebody comes along and says, if there's enough people supporting it and it fits your particular position, you're gonna go with it and rally behind that. But that doesn't make it true because of the masses or whatever. So we got one obligation, in my opinion, from the pulpit. Again, I always say it's a disgrace to use that position for any other thing. We, yeah. there's enough in them 66 books yeah. that's misunderstood, that's not understood, that people don't know, that we need to be focusing on that and teaching the feet the word only. And if I can get that in me and understand that and begin to live by that, then whatever else comes out of any other place, I'll know where to put it. I'll Come know on. exactly where to put it. Yeah, period. Yeah. In other words, yeah, right. Speak the word only. Even like like that. That was the centurion said, right? Speak the word only, right? And then the word is, and, and and what I like to say today, he was talking to me about is, he's saying is, remind people, or let people know who you are in this kingdom, who you are, right? That's the whole key, isn't it? If if I well, tell you, know, you huh? 
you're absolutely right and you have to stand for something in other words because if you if you purport to be uh, a certain discipline or a certain school of thought or a certain something stand on it yeah stand on what you purport to be and then live by that and then they'll see your lifestyle they'll yeah. see that that you stand for something you we, we i think we we get to the point where we try to uh like the world teaches and again i think it's another world concept tolerance of everything everything is okay everything goes there's no standard to that nobody wants to be involved with anything that doesn't stand for something that allows anything to go no no we need to stand for something and we stand for the 66 books and whatever yeah. it says that's our position i right. don't have a personal opinion Come on. about this situation of that situation of this situation of that situation my opinion is what did the bible say yeah. that's my position exactly. and then you deal with however you want to deal with it and that may not be the popular opinion it may not be what the world pendulum has swung to it might be not not be the political position of the pundits as they go back and forth but that's not my i, I could care less about that anyway yeah. i'm supposed to be a representative of his position let yeah. them pre let them represent their position i'm gonna represent his position and in my opinion in the end guess who's gonna still be standing it's still gonna be the word of god that's the whole point yep. yeah every every single time whether it was popular it wasn't popular it seemed right it didn't seem right it wasn't what everybody wanted to do it was what everybody wanted to do it don't matter the masses were going for it I was the minority. I wasn't the majority. It doesn't matter about that. I guarantee you, in the end, his position will still be standing. And that and that comes to every category you want to come to: political, yeah. sexual, sexual orientation, come on uh, now, uh, 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 marriage and divorce. Uh, you, I don't care what it is. Racism, stand all on of what it. you yeah. believe the Word of God has said. That's what you push. Because then, again, I've said it so many times in my life that we, just as Jesus, he didn't have opinions. Mm -hmm. He didn't have opinions, even though he was the son of God. He said, I say what I heard my father say. Come on. Period. <laughs> I do what I see my father do. Period. Right. And yeah. so I think the more we are repeaters, uh -huh. the truer we are to being what he called us to be. I, I don't have a, I repeat what the 66 books of the Kings of the Virgin said. Right. Oh, you give me a subject, I'm going to say what the Bible says, mm -hmm. period. period. Yeah. And then however you take it, that's on you. I mean, that's on you and the Holy Ghost is to reveal to you. He's the true teacher of the church, not me. I'm not right. here to convince you. You know, I'm, I'm a proclaimer, uh -huh. period. How you process it and decide what it means, that's on you and the Holy yeah. Ghost. Yeah, I, I'm not the Holy Ghost. I have a position to Come proclaim on. the truth and the also truth. to live by what I proclaim. Right. And then you decide what you're going to stand. And then, you know, if you're Democrat or Republican, are you gay or straight? Are you black or white? Are you orange or brown? Are you up or down? Are you short and tall? Hey, that doesn't bother me. How does that, whatever you purport to be or whatever you stand for, how does that measure up against the six and six book, what we call the Bible? And exactly. if it's mad, if, it, if it's in line with it, yeah. I follow him. You follow me. I follow him as he follows Christ. If it ain't in line with that, then we are not in alignment. The Bible exactly. says I can two walk together unless they be in agreement, and we can't yes. agree on nothing if the Bible don't agree with it. Yes, sir. Hey, you. And that's what I like about see and see one of the things that I I I, I said within the six six books within the Bible within the kingdom. See what I. I don't want people to get confused about the fact is that I believe that when somebody, you know, the scripture said, continue in my word, is, is that I believe that regardless of whether you're a, a, a Republican or a Democrat or, or, or gay or straight, is that I just believe that if the word says that, what it said, be not conformed to this world, right? But be ye transformed by how? by the renewing of your mind and i believe that as we bring people in it is the renewing of the mind that conforms all of us into the image of his dear son does that make sense 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Because it, it, as you continue uh, to transform yeah. and your thinking aligns with his thinking, then what's right will, will be obvious to you. Come on, what's sir. What's wrong will be obvious to you. No one has to tell you this is wrong. <laughs> hey, on, hey, this woo. is right. No, yes. no, no. If I'm conformed to his, to his work, I, I, I really doubt that Jesus having to look at something that was going on in his day and say, is that wrong or right? No, because of what he stood for. Yes. When he heard it, he knew whether it lined up or it didn't line up. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And so because he was so grounded on the truth, and that's all we're looking for is truth. That's and you know what? People, people respect truth. And exactly. they want to be around and follow people that that stand for something and that didn't go for anything i remember back when i was in college and um you know we was on the basketball team of course and 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 all of us were just radicals man we we got high we chased girls i mean we we just did all kind of craziness you know what i'm saying there was yes, one guy on the team that stood on what he believed in and he went to church he didn't do none of those kind of things he was nice and kind he he, he, he exemplified the word. I mean, he really did. And so anytime any of us got in any situation and we needed somebody to talk to or we needed an opinion about something, a life changing situation, something that was serious, guess who we went and talked to? The we went back to rock. him yeah. because we knew that we were going to get not a biased opinion. Uh -huh. He wasn't going to tell us what we wanted to hear. He wasn't going to side with us because we were his friends. He was gonna give us the naked truth, and we could depend on that because what we needed then was the truth, the truth. and we we could depend on him to get there. And so, because he stood for something, he was more respected than yeah. the other people, and that yeah. and that's what made the difference for him. And I and I've always I think about it on him sometime, and and just just a how solid he was, mm -hmm. and I respected the fact that he was able to stand even in a situation that wasn't popular at the time. But he was truthful. And because of that, he gained the respect of everybody around him. And he truly was the source of inspiration. And, uh, and um, you know, he was one that we, all, we, we constantly would reach out to in our time of need or, or, yeah. or problems or whatever the case may be, you know. Right. And, and I think that's what, that's what he was trying to say. And I agree. That's what Christ has always been saying is, you, you preach the word only. You preach the power of God. Because we don't change because of us, right? This is not a change based on our own decision. The only decision we make is to come into the kingdom, receiving Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior, and believe. Remember that one scripture I think I was reading a couple of days ago? Remember that one scripture that he who has begun a good work in you, right? He's the one who will, he's the one that will perform it into Jesus in the day of Jesus Christ. We, I have this confidence that if I can just get first for myself that he began to work on me and then to preach hey look I just need you to let him begin that work on you receiving him as your personal Lord and Savior and therefore when if you think about it if we get the confidence and preaching the confidence of what he can do despite what somebody said you know like let's say let's use uh, racism, for example, if someone tried to say you are inferior, you have to sit there and say, that's not what the word says. That's not what the word says. I, I hear your opinion. I hear your point of view, but that's not what the word says. And see, you know, I rather stand, like we just talked about, I rather stand on the word of who I am in Christ Jesus than to stand on the opinion or the division or the whatever you want to call it the, the the negative of what somebody else says i am you know what i mean and i think yeah absolutely yeah and i think if we continue to let people know look the good news that's the gospel right the good news is that christ has redeemed us hey from the curse of the law right absolutely like i said so we stay on message about why is it and I like remember I told you I, I mentioned it before you came in. I'm saying this: don't forget the benefits. If you want to preach something, preach the benefits of being in the kingdom. And, we, and, and if and if and if I'm inferior, if I am inferior, and you allow 
that programming to convince me that I am, then obviously I will be. <laughs> and if I am inferior, is because of the systematic laws and lifestyle of this world yeah. that has tried to keep me down and bottleneck me and, and take away opportunities that I would have as everyone else has. <laughs>